Right, so if you're doing SEO, you know that the speed at which you produce quality content is crucial, right? And I'm gonna show you a tool. Firstly, I'm gonna show you the output of this tool that essentially helps you increase the speed at which you produce quality content so you get to know what works, what doesn't. So all this from images, table of contents, key takeaways, uh, the actual structuring, the links, so linking out to other pages on our site, linking out to other authoritative sources in article images, even uh, in article videos right here that are, again, are tailored to both the title of the article as well as the uh, section in which they're included in right here, as well as, for example, here, the tables, more all call, uh, FAQs right here, a call to action here to our, our site right here. Uh, this is the demo site, of course. All this was done through AI. I can skim through all these right here. I had to skim through all these and I can click, I can post them one by one to our site, right? Or I can just go here and publish all, and it will, it will publish all three. Now, this is, of course, an AI content generation tool. If I click here, I have all these modes, which I can choose to generate content. For example, titles, I just give it a couple of titles, select the language and click generate. Or I can give it, a, for example, here, uh, URL description, select how many articles I want to generate, click generate. Now, all this is AI generated. And all these tools are, these tools are, people know about these tools. But the thing is, if you're using AI tools, right, this is, let's say this is the ladder to success right here. Previously, for SEO content, you had to do the keyword research, which, by the way, this tool does automatically for you. If I just scroll down here real quick, you just click here to keyword monitors. It does the keyword research for you automatically. It also does the content indexing. But before, you have to figure out what keywords you want to rank for. You got to write the content. You got to source the images to put in the content. Same thing for videos. You got to figure out the best place to add links to, internal and external. You got to add your calls to action. You got to add, the, you add your tables. All these takes so much time, right? By using AI tool like Journalist, you skip all of these steps, right? And it's not to say that this tool will lead you automatically to success, to money, to ranking number one. But the thing is that because you skip all of these steps, right, you get to test much more and much more often. So the rate at which you test stuff, the rate at which you produce content is so much higher than someone doing it manually. And so you, you understand it, you, you get to know what works and what doesn't work faster. That's the whole goal of this tool, right? These tools, I mean, a lot of people promise to rank you number one. The thing is that these tools, it won't necessarily rank you or not rank you number one. They might, right? But the whole thing about this is to essentially you skip, making you skip ahead, right, of this whole step-by-step -step thing. Because with this, you can just go here, generate articles, and put a couple of titles or a couple of keywords, select the language you can target over 150 different languages, Spanish, Portuguese, uh, French, even if you target international markets, and click Generate. Then you go here to your history, and you see the article is generated, like let's do, for example, this one for the uh, dog grooming niche, right? Just go here, and you publish them, or you don't publish, publish and you see what's ranking, what's not ranking, what should you change, what you should not change, are these links correct? So all this increases the speed at which you can produce uh, content, so it's pretty cool. Now, I'm gonna show how it works, because there's a lot of cool things here. Like I said, you can do the Q research for you automatically, which I'll show you in a second here, indexing. Uh, it also can, you can set up, set up an auto blog, essentially, once you set up an auto blog, it connects Journalist AI with uh, your blog. It could be WordPress, Shopify, it could be, I mean, I can show you here real quick. If you go to integrations, new integration, you can connect with WordPress, Shopify, Ghost, Wix, Webflow, blog, Blogger, Zapier, or even an external API. But again, if you go to auto blogs, what you can do here, you connect Journalist AI with your blog, right? And every single week, day or month, you, Journalist AI goes out and generates at the G, plus it publishes content to your blog on Autopilot. These are individual blog posts. If I go here real quick, like this, and open this, I can choose the frequency at which I want content to be produced. So I can choose 300 posts, oh, 300 posts every single month, week, day, or every 12 or six hours, right? So you just connect your WordPress site here or your Shopify store, or whatever you want, uh, set up an auto blog and produce all this content every single, with, with all this frequency, right? And like I said, these are individual blog posts. If I expand on one of these blog posts right here, right? All these will be like the, the ones that I just showed you with a featured image, right? With a table of contents, with proper article structuring, with uh, in-article images relevant to what the content is about, in-article videos, internal links, so linking out to, so these posts will link out, will link, sorry, between each other, right? All these will link between each other. Maybe links to your homepage, links to your contact page, right? External links as well, so links linking out to other sources, Wikipedia, Investopedia, TechCrunch, all these authoritative sources in your niche. Um, tables, bullets, uh, all this, and down here, a call to action to your service or product. All this on autopilot, right? So it's pretty cool. I forgot to show you, actually, if I go here to, actually, I'll show you, actually, I'll show you now, history. I go here to the uh, dog grooming niche again, link, uh, articles that I just generated a few. Down here, 
there's a call to action to grooming your dog full service that links out to this uh, page on the site where people can actually uh, book a meeting or booking a call to make a reservation to groom their dog. So down here at the bottom of each article, there's a call to action to, uh, in this case, book a call to groom your dog. This will, of course, depend from niche to niche, right? And it's super powerful. So let me show how this works. You go to tryjournalist.com, click generate articles, and you can, of course, try these simple modes, simple mode, titles mode, keywords mode, but the real fun is here in the advanced mode where you can essentially select a preset and click, select the articles you want and click generate. Now, let me just go here to the preset real quick and show you this one right here. It's for the gardening niche. I won't dive too deep into these ones because I recorded videos in the past on how these work. But essentially, with all these seven steps, the first one you choose is generation mode, titles, keywords, or, or description. Connect your brand. You can connect your brand so that the content isn't generic. So it's a brand tailored content. You do this by clicking here. Um, Content, again, you can select over 150 different languages. You can select the creativity levels. You can select the tone of voice, informal, funny, academic, clown voice, whatever you want. Point of view, right? First person, second, or third. Uh, you can even give it custom instructions, right? Um, structuring, you can set your call to action here. In this case, it links out to the Shopify source. So again, every single article at the bottom is going to have a call to action section that links out to this Shopify store, to their products. You can automate your addings. You can automate key takeaways, FAQs. Uh, internal linking, this is where you post your site map URL. So that's every single article has links right to the pages on this sitemap. So again, internal linking. Uh, you can do the same for external linking, right? Just enable this and you have, you have sorry, external linking set up. You can select images, right? Stock photos, Google S3 photos, custom images or AI images. Enable or disable featured image, also in article images and videos here. Just enable this and we'll read through the article, right? This is your article. We'll read through the article, go on YouTube, figure out what's the best video we can select to add sorry, <laughs> to your article right here. That's the video, right? So the best way to actually uh, learn how this works is, is to try it out for yourself. So I will leave a link for this in the description so you can try it out. It's pretty cool. Then go to generate articles, advanced mode, select the preset that you just created, select how many articles you want, just click generate. And this is exactly what I did for this preset right here. As you can see, this is the gardening niche preset. And if I view all these ones, again, these are all uh, articles in the gardening niche, right? All this, I can just click here and post to my uh, WordPress site if I want. Now, if I were to want to index all the content, just go here to indexers, new indexer, connect my Google search console and all the content produced is gonna be automatically indexed. Now, if I have no idea what keywords I want to write about, just go here to keyword monitor, new monitor, add my site right here, which I just did right here, edit. I'm gonna show you how it works. And here it gives me all these keywords I have, low SEO difficulty, so that are easy to rank for and have somewhat decent search volumes. So it's pretty cool. I can select the ones I want and have content pre-produced around them. Right, so that's the part of this tool. It's pretty cool. Again, I'll leave a link for it in the description. Try it out. Let me know what you think. And yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.